What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com back with another Blender quick tip for you. So in this video I wanted to talk a little bit about Shade Smooth and how you can use this option to make your geometry look smoother inside of Blender. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so in a 3D space, um, models are fairly simple, right? In the sense that what they are is they're made up of a bunch of different faces and edges, right? So you've got edges around the outside and then faces in between them. And what Blender does is Blender shades these differently depending on the face by default, um, in general. So if you look at this cube, for example, you can see how you've got this face, this face, and this face, and they're all shaded different colors. And what that allows us to do is that allows us to see which faces are which inside of this space. So Blender is kind of simulating that shading in here. However, if you were to right click on this object and click on the button for Shade Smooth, Notice what this is going to do is this is going to shade this smoothly across this object. So you can't really tell where the different faces end anymore. And so in the case of this cube, this isn't really a good thing to do, right? Um, like in general, you want to see those different faces for a simple shape like this. So you'd want to right click and click on the button for shade flat to get that back. However, um, with something like this uh, sphere, for example, if you look at this, if you tab into edit mode, you can see how it's made up of all of these different faces, right? So every one of these faces is an individual face. And so you can see each one of those shapes in here. And what that does is that makes your sphere look rough. So if you were to right click on this and click shade smooth, what that's going to do is that's going to make your sphere smooth, right? So now you can't see all those individual faces anymore. So this can be really helpful for more complex shapes where you want them to look smoother without taking the hit of going in and like uh, and like subdividing this over and over again so that um, you have a ton of geometry in here that Blender is having to manage. And so sometimes you get an object like this one, right? Which has like rounded off edges in here, which you can kind of see um, are all shaded differently. And then you've got a flat side over here um, and it all kind of comes together, right? Well, the problem is if you right click on this, you don't want to shade this whole thing smooth because you lose all of that detail that's in your model. You don't want to lose that detail because you want to see that this is flat on the back side, but you also want your curves to be smoother in here. Well, there's an option over in your, um, over in your object data properties under normals called auto smooth. And what auto smooth is going to do is that's going to allow you to set the angle at which things are smoothed. And so if I take this object, right click and I click on shade smooth, right? Um, we're getting that same result. But if we go into the normals and click on auto smooth, what that's going to do is that's going to let you set the angle at which this smooths your objects. So notice how if I crank this up past 90 degrees, I get the same result that I was getting before where everything is smooth. But if I bring this down below 90 degrees, notice how now I'm getting that smoothing um, at the edges or at the faces that are at an angle of less than 90 degrees to each other, but not more. So what that means is that means that I get this really defined shading on this backside, but my curved edges in here are gonna be smooth. So you can use this to smooth out those objects. And notice if you were to crank this way down to like two degrees, then these faces are no longer being smooth. But if you crank it to the right like this, then this is all being smooth while this on the backside isn't. So now let's say you have a more complex shape like this one, right? That has a lot of different bevels and things like that. So sometimes what you want is you want a little bit more control over the way this is smoothing these faces. So for example, um, if I was to right click and shade this smooth, now you can see that everything has been smooth on this object, right? All the different transitions, everything are smooth. Well now, let's say that we wanted to come in here and we want to set this so one of these edges or one of these transitions was no longer smooth, but it was rather shaded. Um, so like this transition was shaded flat. Well, if I tab in here, right click and click on the option for mark sharp, what that's going to do is even though everything else is being smoothed, notice how I'm getting the shade flat option across here. So you can automatically set this even with a uh, shade smooth turned on or auto smooth turned on. You can set this so individual edges stay sharp. And you can see that those are sharp by tabbing into edit mode and selecting the edges or just looking at the edges and seeing that they're blue. And if you ever decide you want that smoothing to come back, you can just right click in here and you can click on clear sharp. And then notice how I'm getting that smooth shading across this face. 
And so one last thing is I wanted to look at a um, practical option, right? So what this is, is this is a plane that I've subdivided that I've applied an ocean modifier to. And so what happens is if I was to click on play like this, this is gonna move up and down like the ocean. But the problem in here is my geometry is so big that this just doesn't look very good. And so you could come in here and you could apply um, a subdivision surface modifier in here to make it look smoother, right? But what you're doing when you do that is you're generating a lot of extra geometry. And so what you might do instead is you might think about right clicking on this and shading it smooth. Well, notice how when I shade it smooth, I'm getting the same result that I would have gotten by subdividing it without actually creating all of that extra geometry in here. So a lot of the, a lot of the time, if you want to increase performance, it's good to do that by using the shade smooth option so that you're kind of generating, you're kind of faking that detail without hurting your performance overall. All right, so I have a link to some other related videos on this page. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Have you used shade smooth before? Just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.